We're in a series right now called Love, Acceptance, and Forgiveness. And I would describe those three traits as things that are a key part of the, the life of the Christ follower that help to inform our behavior, our interactions, and uh, kind of dictate how people can know they will be received if they come to engage with us individually, but also as a part of Hillside. And it's important to note that love is probably the characteristic that is most identified with Jesus and with P Jesus' followers. In 1 John chapter 3, it says, this is how we know people have come over from death to life, is that they, they love. They love like Christ does. And so what does it mean to love like Christ does? What does it mean for us to to extend a love without strings like Christ does? We see an example in God the Father. It's not love without license. It's not love that just endorses any old type of behavior and whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to continue to offer this, this nebulous, unconditional positive regard. Now, the kind of love that Jesus offers is without strings, but it also challenges people to leave things that are destructive and to move past things that would make them settle for less than God's best for them. There are times where Jesus engages with people and he does so in a loving and caring way. He rescues them out of a, a terrible situation. There's one in John chapter 8 where uh, there's a woman who's caught in the act of adultery and doesn't even mention the guy. So you know it's a messed up situation anyway. But he... he, he comes across this woman and the group of religious leaders is wanting to have her killed for violating the law and Jesus like the the what God came here to do is not to just start throwing rocks at people it's to redeem and to restore and to heal and eventually all the ones who are accusing her leave out of their own shame and he confronts the woman and says you know where's your accusers and she says they're gone and he says I don't condemn you either but he loves her enough to then say now go and sin no more don't continue in this uh, it's very famous thing to know that Jesus spent a lot of time in the in the company of people who are considered to be sinners or people of bad character. There's Zacchaeus, the rip the the rip off artist, the tax collector who just took advantage of people constantly. There's the people who were who were looked down upon by the those you know appropriate people in society. Is you know do you even know who these people are? The people of ill repute that that Jesus is hanging out with, and yet Jesus not only encourages disciples to do the same, but he went out of his way to engage with people and to love them and to let them know they were received just as they are, but he did not let them stay there. He encouraged them to walk with him and to walk away from the things that would be destructive and the things that would would uh, make them settle for less than God's best in their life. And that's where to be able to tell the difference between real love does not offer license to continue heading towards destruction. Real love invites people towards God's best for them. And for a person who's coming to Hillside or a person who's engaging with, with us individually, it may seem like a tightrope, but if our primary response, our primary choice is we're going to love you and then we get to know people, it's a lot easier than trying to get to know people and then try and love them. So the choice is always followed by the relationship that is built, but it has to start with that choice and to contend for God's best for people. So I'm hoping there's something in here that will stand out to you, you can grab a hold of, you can kind of internalize this. But may God's love, his love without license, his love that pushes us towards his very best for us, be something that characterizes our life and our interpersonal interactions. We're going to be continuing over the next couple of weeks with acceptance and forgiveness. Let's ponder this and let Jesus' love be a part of us today. In Jesus' name.